Whenever an airplane is flying through the air, it's creating something known as wake turbulence, a disturbance in the atmosphere, and it's a result of that aircraft punching through the air or slicing through the air. One of the byproducts of wake turbulence is a phenomenon known as wingtip vortices. As the wings on an airplane produce lift, a pressure difference is created, low on the top and high on the bottom. As the high pressure seeks out the low pressure in an attempt to equalize, it flows along the bottoms of the wings. Once it reaches the edges of the wings, it curls upwards, meeting the low pressure, where both are released back into the atmosphere as two rotating columns of air. In most conditions, we can't see them because it's just clear air, but every now and then, if the weather conditions are right, the result is beautiful. This breathtaking video was captured by photographer Michael Marston in Brisbane, Australia. It's a beautiful and rare example of what happens when an airplane passes through a perfectly placed cloud. A couple months ago, I was playing with my fog machine, something that I oftentimes like to do, and I was just admiring all of the different air currents that are made visible by the fog. You can see all the temperature differences after it settles in the room for a little while. And I got to thinking about wake turbulence. If all aircraft that are generating lift are also producing wingtip vortices, then why couldn't I reproduce this phenomenon on a much smaller scale with a paper airplane? The first step was to cool the fog with ice so that it wasn't just floating around the room. I wanted a defined surface to simulate a cloud. I'm using this light to hopefully just skim a layer of the fog. The second step was to start folding paper airplanes. And the idea was to get them fine-tuned so that they flew directly at the camera that was in front of me. So you can see they're flying straight towards the camera. That's perfect. The next step was to take the paper airplanes, introduce some fog into the room, and start throwing and throwing and throwing and throwing again. That looked perfect. That looked good too. Beautiful. Those looked promising. See how they turned out. And it was very challenging to get those paper airplanes in the right spot of the fog so that the vortices were visible. After quite a few hours, these are the results. I hope you guys like them. I want to give a huge thank you to Michael Marston for sharing his video with me uh, so that I could share it with you guys so you can make that comparison. If you guys like what I do on this channel, you will most certainly enjoy Michael's work. I've linked his pages in the description. Make sure you check out his Instagram page. I just think it's so special that we can take a nearly weightless paper airplane and produce the same effects, same physics, same aerodynamics as what you would see if an airline jet weighing hundreds of thousands of pounds passed through a cloud. It's the same physics going on and I just love that. In addition to looking really neat and beautiful, wake turbulence unfortunately can be very dangerous, particularly to smaller aircraft that are traveling behind larger aircraft. 
and unfortunately there have been quite a few accidents involving it. If you want to learn more about how to protect yourself as a pilot from wake turbulence and what you can do to avoid it, I've put some great links in the description uh, with videos from flight instructors that will help you be more aware of the wake turbulence. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching today's video. If you liked it, please do hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more videos just like this one on the way. Thank you guys. Thank you, Michael, for sharing your incredible video with us, making this video possible. And I will see you all in the next one. Ah, uh, I didn't throw it right.